Hi. We're going to be doing the bark beetle today. And a bark, a redwood bark beetle, is just a little, little, tiny, tiny bug. It looks like a humongous one, but this is how little it is, really, like that. And we're going to learn how to draw this. This is a wonderful creature. Look at what it does. It makes these amazing highways in here. Look this design that you can see here. This is just, just beautiful. If I were a wood crafter, I would include this in part of the work that I do. And this is how it works. They, they come, they come and they put a little hole in here and then they, on the, in the redwood bark, and then they lay their eggs and then the eggs hatch. And then the eggs start to munch, 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 munch all along here and start to eat their way through this layer of the redwood. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be drawing the redwood bark beetle. And what we're going to need is a pencil, a Sharpie with a really sharp point, not, not the big fat ones like that, some colored pencils, something that you might have at home, like these here. And I use watercolor pencils, and my watercolor pencils are just used for water. See, it has, it says watercolor, and it has a little brush on it, and these are so wonderful, and the colors are so gorgeous. But either one that you use is just fine. So now what I want to show you here, I want you to be using a pencil, but I'm going to be using my Sharpie, pretend it's a pencil. And so I'm going to be using this here. And the bark beetle is kind of ovally shaped like this. Ovally shaped, right? So we're going to do oval, right? Oval like that, right? And then it's got kind of a head on it, da -da, like that, right? Okay. Now beetles, bark beetles, beetles, they have wings. Do you see these wings here? And of course they don't fly when they're munching away inside the redwood right they they just they fly to the redwood to make those little holes right so in addition to their wings they have their head they have legs right and since it's an insect it's got how many legs it's got six legs right so we're going to draw these legs and i want you to see that these are straight lines this is not curvy not curvy they're straight lines right so one leg and then we're going to put these legs in the other direction. And, you know, I'm just doing simplified versions of legs. We do have the right number of legs. Okay. So we have three on that side, three more on the other side, right? Okay. So let's do that. There. And there we go. Yeah, legs. Look at that. And then... All animals, all creatures, everything has some kind of design. This one's got lines. A lot of beetles have lines on them like this. Lines on them, lines on them, lines on them. See, like that. And then this is extra a, a, a texture area that's kind of circular textures. And I'm just depicting it by using these little circles. And when we apply color, a little separation up there. When we apply color, we'll bring those out. And the head is so cool. It's got these lines on it, pretty much like we used on here. See here? See? The head like, actually looks like that. So let's just go put this over here like this. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So now we have our creature, our redwood bark beetle. And remember, get that little right okay so the next thing that we're going to do now is remember these highways these lines these designs here right here and they're right underneath see here look see here, look 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 how interesting that is see that yeah so these ones right here what we're going to do is we're going to create those designs so think like a bark beetle right think like a bark beetle so 
I'm going to start it over here and I'm going munch, 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 uh, munch, 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 and munch, munch, this is a big one, this is dinner over here, right, okay, munch, munch, a little snack over here, more over here, and you know, you, you're a bark beetle, you can do anything you want, you can go in any direction, okay, I'm going to go over this way now, look at me. Munch, munch, munch. I got hungry again. Here we go. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. And then, oh, some of them just like to go in kind of fun little directions. Look at this. Okay. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 Bark beetle. But then, but there's more. There's more. Okay. These ones over here. I'm a munch, 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 munch. Much, 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 much. There we are. There we go. Look at all these designs. These are the coolest designs. Look at that. Okay. Those are the highways. Those are the lines that they, they create. Now, the next thing I want to show you, this is scientific drawing, so you need to include more of the habitat. And the habitat being where they live, right? Which is in redwood bark. So, voila, we are going to do redwood bark here. We're doing a little overlap here. Putting the bug on top, right? Underneath. Don't go all the way straight down there. And then I want you to see that the redwood bark has, it has the holes in it, but look at how it has this rough look to it, this rough look. So we're going to do a rough look over here, there, okay? Because in a little bit, we're actually going to be putting some color in there and I, it's really important for these animals to show they have a habitat which is they're not in outer space they're not floating in outer space they have an actual habitat now the next thing remember you were doing this all in pencil the next thing I'm going to ask you to do is get that sharpie the one with the fine point and you're actually going to go over all of this now we, I already started with the sharpie right and you could do that if you want but I always use, I, I, I prefer to do it with just a pencil first. That way you can erase if you want to. So you're going to go over all the lines. You're tracing over all the pencil lines. All the pencil lines, whatever you made. Your, your legs. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot two things. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, look. Antenna. So it's got antenna here. Whoop, whoop. Little ball here. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Whoop, whoop, little ball here, whoop, whoop, antenna, insect. Okay, and the other thing I forgot, it's got these little spiky things on its legs. Right, little spiky things. I'm not quite sure what they're used for, but insects have them. It could be helping them feel things. There, so we have little, let's get spiky things. They're kind of like thorns. Yeah, and they're, they're not like fur. They're, I don't think they're soft. And lots of insects have these. So there we go. So we're going to do that there. Okay. And now you're going to outline it with the Sharpie. Just outline it with the Sharpie. And after you outline the whole thing with the Sharpie, take your time. Good art takes time. We're going to put in the colored pencils. And this is so cool. So look at all these cool colored pencils. I, I picked out all my browns and yellows because this part here is browns and yellows. Look at this. So the key to any kind of colored pencils, whether they're watercolored pencils or regular colored pencils, is layers. Layers on layers on layers. Some artists who use just plain ordinary colored pencils do up to 50 layers. And they're not always on top of each other. Sometimes they're next to each other. So you just do the, and then what you're actually doing as an artist is you're actually blending these colors, when we put water on this, or even when you're just layering this, you're going to see that the colors are different in different parts of it. So this bark beetle, this does not have just, it's not just brown there. There's no such thing as just brown. See, look at the names of these. This one here is baked earth. Okay, that's a color, right? Baked earth, sounds good. 
Okay, that's a cup of baked earth there. This one over here, look at this one here. Deep cadmium, okay, a little bit of yellow in here. That's good. Okay, what else do we have here? We have um, saddle brown. So do you see how many different kinds of browns there are? There's really a lot of different kinds of browns. So what we're going to do here, there we are. So we have those colors here. Awesome. Now the next thing we're going to do is the shoulder part, this part here that has this texture, this is actually quite iridescent, and they're kind of bluey, so this one is a kind of blue, steely, iron blue, so this is called iris, Irish blue, I, iris blue, so we're just going to give it a texture, like this here, texture, 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 and do you see I'm using really a lot, there's a lot, a lot of open space here, and then let's use this one, what is this one called here? This one here is sapphire blue. Sapphire. So, sapphire blue, that's like a gem. Okay, we're just going to go like that. This one over here is charcoal gray. There's going to be a lot of that because it's more blue gray is the colors. Let's get, emphasize that area there. there. When we put enough colors on here, we'll be filling in those white zones. I am not pressing hard. You see, I'm not pressing hard. You don't press hard. That's not what you do. You just keep on putting color on layers and layers and layers and layers. And then when you put your water on, or if you don't, you fill in all of this and it looks really awesome. Okay, there, okay. Now the head part, that head part is so interesting. That head part has got a little mixture of everything up here. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. Nice soft layer, right? Nice soft layer. A little of this in over here. Oh yeah, look at you, look at you. There, a little over here. Oh yeah, good. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, this one here is ink black. Hi there, ink black, okay. Let's do a little emphasis around where the wings are with a little of the black here and some of the parts that might have a little shadowing and go right into taking care of our antenna our awesome feet awesome feet look at you awesome feet you are the best feet look at this best leggies look at those legs okay we're just gonna fill that in here legs okay but remember we're not just doing one color I'm not doing one color we're actually mixing colors because you're an artist. You get to mix colors. That's what artists get to do. You get to mix colors. In the old days, it took a long time to mix their colors, to go get the colors. They'd have to go get the colors outside. they get plants and minerals and rocks and different things, grind them up make them into a paste, and then they'd be able to use them on their art. And that takes a long time. We don't have to do that, that's a good thing. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're gonna, this part here, the highway is the design. Let's make this a little light, light here. This whole area is the light part of the wood, but it's some parts are lighter or darker than others. So we want to see this highway, which is so beautiful, these designs that they make here. Okay, there. But remember, we're mixing other colors in here, just a slight bit more. I want to keep it mostly yellowish, but I might have some other color in here too, right? There, it doesn't have to be a lot. You just but you just want to make your own colors out. That's, that's what nature does, constantly makes its own colors. Okay, and now we're ready for the redwood tree. Redwood trees actually have red wood. It's red wood in the middle, see, and that's why they're called a redwood tree. But you, the bark itself has kind of a reddish cast. And look, there's still, so look at this one. This is a little branch, and it's still got some of the bark beetle designs on it. There, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go look for some of our redwood tree colors. So redwood tree colors in, are browns. Yes, they're browns. There might be blue-brown or red-brown, especially all different kinds of browns, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is just mixing our colors again. Remember, 
we're artists. And this has got, it, it has a texture. So it's okay to make it look rough because it's actually quite a rough texture, okay? And this is a darker color, so it'll show that texture well. There we go. Okay, let's just keep layering. This is our job right now. We have one job. And that's just to keep layering our beautiful colors. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh, you know, I think I need to have a little bit more red or like that kind of color. So this one here is called Poppy Red. Poppy Red, okay. So browns are not just brown. So this is a red brown that we're creating, a red brown. And when we put water on this, this will all blend together. But if you're at home and you're doing regular pencils, that's okay. Just keep blending, okay? Just keep blending. And then pretty soon, you're going to have your own unique color. And the thing about blending your, your um, colored pencils is that you can also put in darker places where the shadowing would be and things like that so you have control over your image okay the next thing what we're going to do here is this background is actually not page white right this is actually wood but it's not the dark part of the wood it's the very light part of the wood so we do want to make sure the colors get changed a little bit here good okay good there we go and, um, and so because it's wood, it's, it's going to have a little bit of a design, a little bit, a little bit of texture again. Everything has design, everything has some kind of texture. There we go. So we just want to make sure we, it's just not white, that's all. I want it to be white, and then I'm going to add one more color in here. And let's see, what's a good color? We'll just add maybe this one over here. There we go. There. Good. Okay. Now, uh, here comes the good part now. And it's not that this all isn't good. We're going to be adding water. Okay, so when you add the water, look at what happens with these colors. They just blend together and now you have made magic colors yourself. You are the artist. You created your own colors by putting them together, blending them, and now these are unique. You'll never be able to copy this one again, really, because every time you put a color down, it's different. So this is kind of fun because every picture that you make will have your own unique colors. Now look over here, I'm trying to get that kind of circle-y look because it has a circle kind of bubble um, texture to it. So we just kind of do those strokes that are kind of circle-y like that. And then this front part here, yeah. Oh, hello head. What a good head that is. There we go. And antenna. Antenna. There. And awesome legs with spikes on them. Don't they look kind of like prehistoric? I guess that bugs have been around a long time. Insects have definitely been around a long time. So they figured out how to be their creative selves in the world. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go do these beautiful designs over here. Beautiful designs. Look at this, look at this. Hold on. Um, I'm just thinking like being a bark beetle here, redwood bark beetle. There are many kinds of bark beetles. There's um, pine and birch bark beetle. However, this particular one likes redwood trees. Okay, and here we are. Let's come back over to our redwood tree over here. Let's get our redwood tree. There we go. Look at that red, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the other thing that you can do is after this dries, if say you wake up in the morning and say, oh my gosh, I really need it more pink there, or I need it more red, you can put it in. And then you put more water on it. That's, and, that, um, and that means that you can keep changing your picture. I mean, till, till you're happy with it. Um, I, you know, I'm usually pretty happy with it, but there are times I'll, I'll think I should have added more color, and you can. You can. It's not done. At any time, you can add more if you wish. It, it's best when it's dry when you do that, though. Okay? There. So, all right. Look at that. Okay. We have a bark beetle here. Look at that bark beetle that you did, and watch this. Here, let's be, look at this here. Bark beetle. Good job. You did great. <laughs>